What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be going through my top five players to watch for the 2020 season for Port Adelaide. It's going to be a big year for the club. As we know, 150 years, there are a few players on the list that need to stand up or will be playing a different role and staking their claim to keep their spot throughout 2020. And these are the types of players you'll be looking out for to have a star year or to step up and take their game to the next level. So let's get straight into my top five players to watch in 2020. Now, to be honest, there is many on the list that you could easily be watching and seeing how they play and how their form goes throughout the season. But <laughs> it's only five that I'm picking, five that I think will be pretty noticeable, and a couple of them I reckon you'll be questioning, you know what, yeah, I can see it. I can see why we're gonna be keeping a close eye on him throughout the year. So the likes of Stephen Motlop, the likes of Todd Marshall, Dan Houston, um, and a few others that are out on the list. They're playing different roles or they need to take their game to the next level. Obviously the ones to watch and will definitely uh, be a big part of uh, how they go throughout the year. But the five I'm mentioning, first of all, Jared Leanett has been in and out of the side of the last couple of years, has done some pretty good things down back. Now with Dougal Howard leaving the side and a couple of spots opening up, he's got an opportunity for himself to stake a claim and keep his spot in that back six. Now obviously with Westhoff going back and Jack Watts coming back in, um, being fit, and then you've got Tom Jonas and Tom Cleary, DBJ, and the likes of um, all of those back end players around Ryan Burton and Hamish Hartlett, it will be tough for Leno to find a spot or even be able to break into the 22. But I think he's got the capabilities to do so. And I think he's definitely one to watch throughout the year because at the end of the year, his contract's up and he'll be wanting to either find some form and get back into the side and get another contract or it might be a little bit gloomy at the end of the season for himself. Next one to be watching out for throughout the year is Kane Farrell. Now, this young kid has been on the list for a couple of years now as well. He's been able to stake his claim um, up forward. He's been able to kick bags of goals last year against Fremantle, kicked four. He's a smooth operator of the footy. He kicks really nicely in a set shot and on the run. And you, I've seen over the preseason, he's been training a little bit more higher up the ground, a high half forward into that wing position. I've heard the likes of Warren Treadray even say that Kane Farrell in the side is making Port Adelaide better, especially if he's on the wing because he's a good ball mover. And I reckon there's a spot for him there, especially since Sam Gray and a couple of others have left over the last uh, few months. He's a young kid, he's talented, he's able to hit the scoreboard, but he's also able to run and he moves freely and he obviously has his skill set with his kicking and his ball work. So. There's a spot for him there, and I reckon he could take his game to the next level, especially if he does go to the wing, because if he's able to do that, then it gives us even more flexibility with other players in different positions. And we know Carl Amon is an excellent wingman, and he moves the ball so well. So I reckon Kane Farrell is in for a big 2020. Now we've heard his name over the preseason a fair bit, um, but I do think he's one to watch, and out of all the recruits and the draftees that we've got in the off season, Mitch Georgiatis is one to definitely be keeping your eye on, especially at the start of the year, come round one. He was a bit quiet in that first March series game, but there's still plenty of time to be able to impress uh, the fans. And I reckon um, he was able to hit the packs and he was able to jump with the footy, able to take that game on. Um, and what we saw him in the internal trial, he's just jumping and everything. He's got a good set shot on him, a great ball mover. I can really see him making a, an instant impact in the best 22. Just like the Connor Roseys and the Zach Butters, Xavier Dersmers, those types of players, if Mitch Georgiatis is in there, playing at least 15, 16 games throughout the year, hitting the scoreboard, um, then it's definitely gonna help out structurally as well as being able to be impressed by a youngster and he may even get a rising star nomination throughout the year. So definitely Mitch Georgiatis is the one the one draftee to be keeping your eye on. Another one to be watching throughout this season is Sam Power Pepper. Now we know he's had been on the list since 2017, came onto the scene, was a brilliant first year player, came top three in the Rising Star. 2018, 2019, he saw his form sort of linger, go up through some momentum changes. Now into 2020, his fourth year, getting to that mature age, his mature body is starting to find that form that you do at your peak and they will put him into a different uh, position up forward. It's that forward midfield role where there's so much pressure um, he can apply up there. And we saw it in the first March series game. He's just applying constant pressure, um, multiple score involvements, multiple pressure acts. And 
If he has that ability to have four or five tackles in a game and create scoring opportunities up forward from his pressure and his tackling, then we're already going to be a better side, even with him down there. Um, he doesn't necessarily have to hit the scoreboard, but if he's getting 15, 20 odd possessions and doing his role and playing his part and then the occasional goal or two, more than happy for that to be Pep's role. And if he's putting that out, there's definitely um, some serious carnage coming uh, the way of a few opposition defenders. Lastly, I want to mention this bloke, the big bloke. He came onto the scene late last year. Uh, been on the list for a couple of years now, but Pete Laddams, Pistol Pete, will definitely be looking uh, likely to be included in the best 22 as a second ruckman helping out Scott Lysett. I feel that's the way the coach would go, and I reckon he's eyeing off the number one spot from Scotty Lysett. And, They'll be playing forward, I reckon. A couple of them, they'll be chopping and changing. And there'll be certain days that Pete Laddams has the ability to just do better and dominate the ruck more so than Scott Lysette. We know Scotty can move freely and he rolls <laughs> rolls around um, the ground really well. And Pete Laddams has that ability to do so. And I reckon he's just coming into his craft now. And he's a good tap ruckman. Um, and he'll be able to contest with the better ruckman in the league. So... There'll be days where Pistol Pete is able to influence the game a little bit more than Scotty, but he's definitely eyeing him off, and I reckon he's definitely one to watch this year because, boy, oh, boy, Pistol Pete, he's looking likely he's going to take this, take that spot and take uh, rucking to a new level in this new season. Well, Port fans, that is my list of players to watch for the 2020 season. Leave a comment below the one you're looking forward to seeing the most throughout the year. Which one are you keeping your eye on to take the next step in their game? Or who is, who needs to step up? Who needs to take the next step to make sure they keep their spot on the list going past this 2020 season? It's going to be a big year for the footy club, as we know. And the under-23 trial match is this weekend, March at March. No, it's Saturday, 29th of uh, February uh, and then March 2 against the Western Bulldogs in Wyala before not long now Not long now round one coming your way very soon looking forward to this many more content on the channel coming away before round one So make sure you get on it subscribe and get in in the family as we get ready for a big quarter late season and some AFL content coming your way as well Thanks so much for watching Port fans. My name is Anthony and as always Can't pair